Welcome back to another cool user tech video. These are the top 10 best apps this week, so let's do it to it. Thank you, Google. How was your day? Shut the f up already and get to the apps. Whoa. Okay. Number one, Wallpaper HD. This is an excellent application to find new wallpapers. I love looking through this. They're all high quality pictures. You can choose what's a new, go into the live so you can see what live wallpapers if you're a fan of that, I love them. And go to categories and throughout the whole application, the animations are great and it's very easy to set up. All we have to do is select on it, wallpaper, and we're done. Go back and you can see that is a wallpaper now. Number two. Inkwire, perfect application to share what's on your screen. I got two phones. Both of these devices need to have the application. Press share. We're gonna share the access, and it's gonna connect to my phone. I'm gonna enable the microphone. Okay, so let's say I'm all the way across the world. This application will allow me to share my screen, as you can see there. Opens up. Everything I move through here, the person will see it on this side. But they can touch the screen and be like, so what does this app mean right here? Even going into a YouTube video, you can be sharing your screen. Yes, but we'll be able to talk back and forth. Definitely useful. You could obviously figure out what you could use this for. Number three, screens. If you're into split screens, like having two side-by-side -side applications, this allows you to always have the ones that you always pick. We're gonna pick the application here. I want Twitter on top, and we're gonna do YouTube on the bottom. Now that's creating a shortcut once I click on this, it's going to launch both of my applications that I use. There's my Twitter. Let's see what somebody's saying. Someone retweeted my PC video. As you can see, I can multitask and search and watch videos at the same time. Same with the next one. This will launch Twitter and the Google Play Store. So you can make multiple different shortcuts for whatever you're going to be using multi-windows. Number four, TextBand. This application is so useful. What you do is create a shortcut for a certain long sentence or something that you always type around. I'm going to put LTV. And the phrase is going to be like this video. I'm going to press that check mark. And now we have right there like this video. Now if I go into my Twitter app, once I start typing L, nothing happens, T, it's saying, oh, hey, there's almost a shortcut happening. I could tap on that or continue the whole V and it's a check mark and it's going to put like this video. I can also type YT, comes up, youtube.com slash cool loser tech. It doesn't even matter how long the message is. Such a time saver. Definitely go try it out for yourself. Number five, fly so. This application allows you to have your Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter all in one application. You can read tweets, like, retweet, respond, all through in like normal Twitter would be. Same with Instagram, you can read, look at photos, and it even allows you to open it in the official app if you still have it. And I like the way it lays it out. You can read a lot more, you can delete. Swiping over right back to your Facebook. I tweeted about 50,000 likes and I'll post my overdue top 10 apps video tonight, which is this one. It's a joke. It's nice to have them all within one place so you can delete the other applications. Okay, now listen up. I'm gonna take a quick break. I've been doing apps and games for over six years and I love it, but it's still not paying the bills. I can't live off of YouTube, so I'm starting to look for sponsors and my sponsors are going to start being like a little good 20 second advert in the middle of the videos. And this is what the intermission sponsor spot will look like. And now I wear from my sponsor. Case Co. sells lots of accessories for your phone, being Android or iPhone, tech wear as Bluetooth beanies, chargers, screen protectors, not only to protect your phone with stylish cases. I personally enjoy the high quality products I even met the owner the case code crew is awesome and they're based out there in Canada so shout out a eh? that's it quick and simple move on to the next app number six Dingless. Dingless allows you to mute all your notifications if you're using your phone. While screen on, it's going to mute your notifications. And if you go back into your sleep mode, we turn the screen off, it's going to go back to normal where you'll hear your notifications come in. And you can just uncheck that and it goes back to normal. And this is going to go right into vibration. So you will get notifications, but it puts it right into vibrate mode. And if you put it back onto your sleep mode, you're going to get normal notifications instead of you having to do it by yourself manually. This is going to do automatically for you and you can do the rest in mode, eliminate multiple sound alerts. So if you're getting a lot of messages from hangouts, we can uncheck these and allow that. So only one notification sound will come instead of having multiple, multiple notifications come in for one app. Number seven, real time subscriber account. I'm going to swipe the bottom. This is, I'm using Nova Launcher. And you can see it says my Kuluzer Tech subscriber account is live. 141,000 subscribers, 396. If a subscriber subscribes right now, it'll lively go to seven and it'll go up or down if people unsubscribe or whatever. You get the idea. If we want to look at PewDiePie's count, 453 subscribers. 
456 subscribers. Favorite, so if you want to come back and check them out. 14 billion views and over 3,000 videos. <laughs> you can see most of these are all my YouTube accounts. I got one more subscriber <laughs> and it's a widget. Go to subscriber count, drop it, select it, subscriber count, right there, right on my home screen. Number eight, Ampere. Other than telling you exactly how many milliamps you're wasting off your battery, it'll do the opposite. It will also, I got a couple power banks sitting in the background, tell you how much amps you're putting into the phone. We see we're measuring, and it'll tell you how fast the power charger is gonna be charging. Swipe over to the next side, we can see, now let's try another charger. And we can see how fast this one's gonna be charging at 440. Next one. And this one's doing 360. So you get the idea. You can definitely see how fast these things are gonna charge your phones. But there you have it, useful tool. Go try it out for yourself. Number nine, Weather Wiz. This is one of those really cool looking weather applications where you can swipe up and get more detailed. You could even swipe the toggles and change the look of the background theme. If it's nighttime, it's gonna start getting darker. Or you can set it to be just one constant one and we get this look. You can set yourself with different areas if you want. Change the measurement unit. When do you want it to update? Then you have weather notification area. Swipe this down, you will get your forecast. You can click on it and it will bring you right to the same spot customize the color maybe I want blue and I bring it down we got blue you could also leave yourself a widget these are the widget layouts if you don't want it to be up in your notification this are your different layouts set it wherever you would like and you got it number 10 stream for this application if you ever wanted to play YouTube music videos in the background but you just want to listen to it but everybody knows if you don't have YouTube ready you can't listen to it while your screens off or you're out of the application with this it makes a little pop-up let's click on that you see the little pop-up there. Let's go home, and it'll keep continuing. The video's right here, and it's playing, but I could also be going onto other applications. I could even play. The video's still going right in this little window, and it's playing music. Join my clan at Gamesters. I'll put it in the description down below. You can press pause, clicking on that. Obviously, you don't want to be playing in certain games that you can't lower the volume, but you can see that you can play the music. You can even search for me and watch my videos on here, a little floating window. I even have my very own music on here as well. I fell in love again, thinking about you tonight. Anyway, maybe you found some podcasts that you want to watch here on the app. The only sucky part is that you can't turn your screen off because YouTube has the right to block everyone from that because that's a YouTube red feature that they want you to buy and pay in order for you to have background music playing. So once you turn the screen off, it's going to pause and you're not going to have the music playing in the background. But at least you can leave the application of YouTube and still listen to stuff and go into other games while that is playing in the background while your screen's off. But there you guys have it. These are the top 10 best apps this week, number 361. Hope you understand my little advert in the middle of the video wasn't that long, but obviously I'm still small time. I'm not making a lot of money on YouTube, so I kind of have to do that. Anyways, my true viewers are gonna support that. It doesn't cost you anything. You can skip that portion of that 20 seconds if it really bothers you, but obviously it's not a big deal. You don't have to go buy that product. And I'm not just gonna promote junk, so that's something to keep in mind. All right, that's it for me. I'm on the LG V20, and as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Later.